Hey guys, we're back for some more sniper action. In today's video, I'm going to be using my personal favorite sniper, the M98B. Now, what makes this my favorite sniper in the game? Well, there's a few things. I mean, it was my favorite sniper in BF3, so obviously, I'm already kind of sort of used to how it shoots and whatnot. And again, comfortability to me is the most important thing when you're using any sniper or selecting one. Which is why I don't recommend going back and forth between a bunch of them. Which is why I only use three. I don't use any of the other ones. It's not because they're not good. It's not because I don't like them. It's just, you know, you get used to shooting with a certain t uh, gun. Uh, and the more acquainted you are with that gun, the more accurate you're going to be with that gun, the more familiarity you will have with that weapon. Probably the more success you're going to have with it. So that's why I pretty much just stick with the three. The uh, M40A5, the M9AB, and the SRR61, each of them kind of has their strengths and weaknesses for various game modes and various distances. But those are the three I stick with. That way I'm just kind of used to those guns and um, can, you know, really be acquainted with how they're going to fire, how much I need to lead, how much I need to aim above uh, to account for bullet drop and those types of things. Especially with snipers, that's going to be ex crucial, crucial, crucial that you uh, get those things down and you get comfortable with them. Now... One thing I want to talk about is the straight pull. Uh, the straight pull is really important um, because, again, you don't have to aim or you don't have to zoom back out whenever you're aiming. You can just take multiple shots. But similar to the DMRs, how I said the DMRs helped improve my game, even though they're weak and they're not something I would use right now, I believe a patch is coming out soon that is going to improve them. But as of right now, they're not that good. But how they improve my game by not being that good so without using the straight pull you have to zoom back out and zoom in all the time but that does have its advantage of well not an advantage but it has the benefit of you learning how to aim without actually being aimed down sight you learn how to center your aim more so and you learn how to really get that on the money before actually zooming in and this can help you to um, avoid being zoomed in all the time, to avoid always zooming in and just kind of holding the zoom. It'll benefit you as a sniper to not always just be zoomed into your scope because when you're zoomed in, there's a big old light on the front of your sniper that pretty much gives away your position. And on top of that, you can't see your peripherals. You can't see around you. You have a real narrow line of sight that you can see and that's all your vision is going to allow you to see. So your best bet is going to be to find your targets without being zoomed in unless you're trying to you know fight at a really long uh, engagement distance like 500 plus meters but if you're just kind of doing the medium range um, close range um, short long range shortish long range uh, you definitely want to aim um, down your sight once you kind of have them centered already and then from there make your minor adjustments to account for um, you know where they are the distance they are away how much you need to lead them and those types of things but it's going to be best if you can aim in and know where your target is already rather than being aimed in already and then trying to find your target. Find your target first and then aim in and that I think will be you know one of the most useful things that and helpful things that whenever you're using a sniper that you're going to get. Now the other thing I want to talk about this video before we get into the M98B and why it's my favorite gun uh, for sniping is those glitchy snipers that you can pick up off the ground now i mentioned this in another video but those guns are so glitchy and what makes them glitchy essentially first off you can pick up another gun off the ground which isn't the biggest deal in the world but the problem is it's like you have an additional gun uh because you get full ammo it's not like it comes with like five bullets or something like that it actually comes with like a full you know onslaught of ammo full clip full magazines full everything so uh, essentially you have <laughs> a whole nother weapon that you could do some damage with but that's not the bad part the bad part with those weapons and what makes them glitchy is that they're not just sniper rifles but they're better than it <clears throat> let me phrase this correctly they are more dangerous than any of the sniper rifles regardless of your skill level because it doesn't matter if you hit them in the head it doesn't matter if you hit them in the shoulder no matter if you hit them in the pinky toe if you hit them they're gonna die and it's just one shot kills all over the place whenever you pick up those guns those amr whatever i mean you'll find them on the ground and uh if you see a sniper on the ground feel free to pick it up man because uh those things are glitchy and they're pretty much golden guns and as long as you can hit the target so instead of having to aim for the head all the time 
Uh, you don't even have to aim for that. Just aim for upper body. You hit upper body, they're going to die. And, um, <laughs> you know, the, those guns are really glitchy and it's just tough. And the other thing about them is you can pick them up as an assault, as a support, or whatever class you're rocking and uh, really do some damage. So if you get killed and uh, you see a sniper rifle, you know it's a sniper rifle, but you see that gun and it doesn't have any attachments at all, those are one of the guns that you pick up off the ground. And, um, you know, those things are pretty glitchy. So you probably want to kill the guy, whoever has it, uh, right away before they do a whole lot of damage to your team. Pick up a real nice kill streak or whatever. Or really start to dominate an area on the map and really mess up map positioning for the rest of your team. So those are just some quick thoughts on that. Now, what makes the M9AB my favorite sniper in the game? First off, uh, it's freaking powerful, man. Like, it's... It's really powerful. Like it does really good damage, just like the other snipers. But the other thing is that its bullet travels extremely fast. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that I don't have to aim above my target as much. I mean, it does a little bit, but more so, it's about um, you know, you have to aim above your target just slightly less. But the biggest thing is how much you have to aim in front of your target. So, say if you hit a moving target they're moving from right to left and they're running a lot of the snipers you really have to account for that um, kind of like with the SRR where you don't have to account so much for the bullet drop with the M98B you don't have to account so much for the movement from left to right or horizontally or you know just across your screen because it fires so fast that the bullets gonna get there BAMS bullets gonna get there right away and uh, you don't have to aim as far ahead now you definitely do still at medium and long range just have to lead your target but the amount you have to lead your target is drastically less than most of the other snipers in the game another benefit I guess compared to the SRR is that it has 11 good old bullets uh, in the magazine well 10 in the magazine one in the chamber but it has 11 bullets to work with and that's just a few more and you know me man I have a terrible terrible reload habit so the more bullets the merrier because you know the less likely I'm gonna have that bad itch to try to reload you know once my bullets get low I just got that itch and it's just gotta happen I gotta reload uh, <laughs> like a drug fiend man it's real bad I'm working on it though guys I'm working on it I promise <laughs> but uh, it definitely helps to have those few extra bullets it's definitely nice and for me i a lot of medium range, a lot of short long range. A lot of the times I'm going to be playing team deathmatch or domination or one of those smaller things. I'm definitely mixing in more conquests and stuff now. But, um, you know, it, it, it's one of those weapons where I feel like it's a little bit better than the SR. Well, it's not better, but it's just, it's for me, it's better uh, because of those reasons, because of the moving targets and things like that specifically. Because I face a lot more moving targets than I face very far distant shots where the SRR is going to be the huge benefit there. But these two, I think, are considered pretty much by everyone to be the best snipers in the game. And for good reason, man. They can do a whole lot of damage. They can do a lot of work. They can kill a lot of targets really quickly. And, um, you know, if you work with that range finder, which I haven't used yet, but I'm going to start using it here pretty soon uh, just to get a feel for it. But you get those things working together, and there goes that glitch gun, the AMR 2 mid or whatever. But... Oh, that gun irritates the heck out of me. <laughs> but, um, I hate dying to it because I just know it's usually a body shot. But, uh, anyway, you know, these two guns, they're definitely, you know, two of the, the favorite, fan favorites, the two of the most popular sniper rifles, and for good reason, man. And I definitely recommend using these two and then maybe having a third one that you really like, too, uh, which is the case with me. Or, you know, just mix it up with whatever you want to rock with. But uh, either way, I do recommend kind of sticking to two to three, maybe four tops for snipers that you're going to use regularly. Because you want to really get used to the bullet drop, how much you got to lead them, and all those good things. They're going to allow you to be a better sniper. Uh, and as far as snipering goes, again, spotting. Uh, I didn't mention this yet, but spotting is crucial. Um, on the PS4 and the Xbox One, uh, I believe it's going to be R1 and RB. I think it's still RB on the Xbox One. Um, but anyway, those are the buttons you're going to need to use to spot. And if you're not spotting people already with any gun that you're using, start. But specifically with snipers, spotting is so crucial because if you miss a target 
or you know if you're aiming all the way down and you see a bunch of guys it can definitely help your team out a lot so start spotting and start helping your team out but that's going to do it for this commentary guys hopefully this helped you guys out and i uh, hopefully you enjoyed till the next time we gone